Let's read some Glitch in the Matrix stories, part 20. A couple of years ago, my kids, then about six and a few months old, and I traveled upstate to visit my parents. We do this a few times a year. My parents had a spare bedroom upstairs for our visits. My daughter stayed upstairs in the spare bedroom, I had an air mattress downstairs, and my infant son was in his pack and play near me. My parents' bedroom was also upstairs as well as the bathroom. My dad was working late that night at the local Dunkin' making donuts and such for the next day. He came home late but quietly and went upstairs to bed. He was not home for bedtime and did not peek in on her when he came home, I asked. I was the only one who tucked my daughter into bed that night. She had a bottle of water with her, and she showed me excitedly how she had concocted this way of keeping it from spilling. She made a sort of stand out of these big Lego blocks and had also set a block on top of the bottle. She showed me that there was no cap underneath and explained to me that she had dropped the cap into a tote of toys in the bedroom earlier and couldn't find it, so she rigged this up. I giggled, praised her creativity, and tucked her in. My mother, son, and I went to bed soon after. Nobody else knew about the water bottle thing besides my daughter and I. The next morning, she came downstairs so excited to show me that the cap was back on her water bottle. Obviously, my parents were confused and didn't know what she was talking about, so I explained the makeshift cover that she'd made for the top of it. I didn't place the cap back onto the water bottle. Nobody else knew about it, and my dad wasn't even home. My daughter swore up and down that she didn't do it. Okay, maybe she just forgot. Kids forget sometimes. At first, I thought maybe this was her idea of a prank on me, but she insisted that she woke up to the cat being on the water bottle again. I went upstairs with her, and she showed me the tote of toys she had dropped the cap into before bed. I dug around, and it was still there. What? Somehow, while everyone was asleep, someone or something put a cap on that water bottle, and not even the same cap that was lost. There were no spare water bottles in the room that could have been switched over or the cap used. We still have no idea how that cap got on the water bottle. It definitely wasn't there when we went to bed. Weird!